The civil rights movement was a collection of campaigns that pushed for basic human rights and in the integration of Australia, as it was a segregated country. During the 1950s, Australia was being criticised by the London Anti-Slavery Society for how they were treating their Indigenous population. As a result of this, a group of existing state bodies formed a group called the Federal Council for Aboriginal Advancement in 1958. The group pushed for constitutional change, equal wages, access to social service benefits and land rights for Indigenous people. This was during the time of the assimilation policies. The assimilation policy was the process of removing Aboriginal children from their families and merging them into a white society in an attempt to eliminate Aboriginal societies. Charlie Perkins, an Aboriginal activist, established the Student Action for Aborigines, SAFA, group in 1964 and in 1965 SAFA organised the Freedom Rides to spread public awareness of the poor health, education and housing of Aboriginals and to eliminate barriers such as segregation between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people. Sir Douglas Nichols was born 9th of December 1906 in Kamaragunja Reserve. During his upbringing, the Aborigines Protection Board took his sister away and he was taken out of school at the age of 14 to work as a labourer. During his lifetime, Nichols became a pastor, civil rights activist and an exceptionally good football player. Being a civil rights activist, his philosophy was that Aboriginals should be treated as people, not as flora and fauna, and that Australia should be an integrated country. Sir Doug Nichols' beliefs are evident through this quote. Sir Douglas Nichols spent the majority of his life working in groups like the National Aboriginal Sports Foundation and the Aborigines League of Advancement in Victoria. Through this, he delivered many speeches, such as his most quoted speech at Wesley Church speaking event in 1939. One of Sir Douglas Nichols' best achievements was his involvement in campaigning to hold a referendum to change the constitution. After a 10-year-long campaign, the referendum was eventually held and 90% of Australians voted to change the constitution for the good of the Aboriginal people. These changes meant that Indigenous people were included in the population figures and allowed the federal government to make laws for Indigenous Australians. For example, the Land Rights Act, which has given many Indigenous people ownership of their traditional land. Equality has not been achieved in Australia. In 2017, the overall attendance rate for Indigenous students nationally was 83.2% compared to the 93% of non-Indigenous students. These statistics show that differences between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people are still there, whether the reasoning is a personal issue or not. Although Australia is an integrated country, there are still many campaigns to support civil rights. A very well-known campaign is Close the Gap Day. This particular day is a government strategy that aims to reduce disadvantages among Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people with respect to life expectancy, child mortality, access to early childhood education, educational achievement and employment outcomes.